Welcome back to the 2011 Chortle Comedy Awards. Coming up, the inspirational Dave Gorman, the vivacious Claire Grogan, the lovable James May, and the currently unemployed Lembit Opic. The nominees for Best Character on Sketch Act are Adam Riches, Johnny Sweet, Late Night Gim Fight, and Tom Bins as Ian B. Monkford. This one, no. And the winner is Late Night Gimpy. Late Night Gimpy. They're here. Late Night Gimpy. Look at all of them. All the players in Late Night Gimpy. Five of them. Six of them. That money's going fucking nowhere, lads. You would call this survey a twat. Like, 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 in fight, because I'm just saying, fellas. There'll be a two piece in about a year. Uh, we'd just like to say a big thank you to Ryan and everyone at the Pleasant. A big thank you to Gina Lyons, <laughs> to Alex Smith, to everyone at Solo Theatre, and everyone at Phil McIntyre, and to Steve Bennett. Great, thank you very much. And everyone that voted. And Steve Martin. Thank you very much, Steve. That one, fellas. Late night give fight. The best music on radio. The boy with tape on his face. Demon. Do you know that one? No. You don't know it? No. It's a boy. Yes, yes. We saw him earlier. He didn't have tape on his face. I was disappointed. Raymond and Mr. Tinkins review. Showstopper, the improvised musical. Showstopper, the improvised musical. And Tim Minchin. Tim Minchin. And the winner is... <laughs> Tim Minchin. Tim Minchin is the winner. The best headliner, best headliner in Britain is Nick Clegg. No, sorry, wrong one. The best headliner is Andrew Lawrence or Craig... Let's do this properly. Andrew Lawrence. Craig Campbell, Milton Jones, or Tom Stage. And the winner is Milton Jones. Milton Jones, Milton. Come on up. Ah, oh, we have a winner actually present. Unbelievable. Never has Chortle had his finger on the pulse of comedy. <laughs> More than tonight. What a website. More hits than Jim Jeffries. But I would like to see a world without plagiarism. You may say I'm a dreamer. But I'm not the only one. Thank you very much. Good night. It was like going through the looking glass. It was a man who kind of loved 
chaos. Loved it when everything went wrong. Uh, loved it when we play a gig and would be kind of completely ignored by everybody. That was the gigs when we'd come on stage and say that was the best gig we ever did. Uh, you probably worked out who he is, but if not, no convention dictates if it's not like a list of nominees that, um, uh, that I should kind of give some clues. Uh, so he's got very uh, smooth hair. Uh, he may be dead, but he's got constantly unblinking eyes. Uh, it's uh, Mr. Frank Sidebottom. Right. Yeah. There's a couple of people here to, to accept the award. Uh, somewhere in the audience, uh, Frank Sidebottom had a friend uh, called Chris Seavey. And Chris's girlfriend, Gemma, if you see somebody uh, with a box, uh, collecting money. That's Gemma. Uh, she's trying to collect uh, for a statue of Frank uh, to go up in Timpani Village. Um, so far they've raised uh, £2,000 and the statue costs £60,000. So we're hoping that tonight we can raise the other £58,000. <laughs> it's a doable shortfall. Uh, so Gemma's here somewhere. Uh, if, she, if she waves the box, uh, she's not trying to extort money out of you. Uh, and also, uh, to come on stage and collect this award, uh, is um, Frank's business partner, Brian Little, and Little Frank. There you go, Mr. Frank. Nice to meet you. Can you do the voice? Um, unfortunately, for those who might know, um, this is Little Frank, who was uh, Frank's uh, ventriloquist puppet, and of course, um, Frank did his voice, so I can't really say much tonight. But, um, you know, it, it, it's such an honour for me um, to collect this award. Frank was a great friend of mine, and we did so much together, um, very, very much missed, um, such a funny, entertaining person, and I'm so pleased that the uh, judges of Chortle uh, Comedy Awards have decided to give him this honour, because he really would have uh, shrugged his shoulders probably and gone, mm, well, yeah, what's next, but he, he would have been so appreciative. So on his behalf, on Gemma, on his family, and all his fans and friends around the country, and in Manchester, uh, yeah, we'd love to see a statue of Frank in Timpley, he, he'll live on, but thank you very much. Best tour award, and the people who have been considered to have had the best tour are this is what I meant to do. Yeah, you're spot on. I mean, you know what you want, let's be honest with you. <laughs> Not very bright. Okay, Bill Bailey. We're down to that round. <laughs> Daryl O'Brini. <laughs> Lee Mack. Lee Mack. <laughs> Woohoo! I don't know why I'm doing that boo-boo thing. It just seems appropriate in this situation. And Tim Minchin and his orchestra. <laughs> and the winner is... This is a box of chocolates I've been given. Um, and the winner is Tim Minchin and his orchestra. Tim Minchin's orchestra! And the nominations are for the TV and Radio Award. Getting on. Michael McIntyre's Comedy Roadshow. News Quiz and The Trip. That's a tight food, Jack. It's a what? It's a tight food, sir. It is a tight food. I like The Trip a lot. Yeah. You've got cars in there. Yeah, you've got cars in there. Anyway. The winner of the TV and Radio Award is... Wow! <laughs> it is... <laughs> Michael McIntyre's Comedy Roadshow! Michael McIntyre's Comedy Roadshow!
please welcome the legend that is Mr. Richard E. Grant! Thank you very much. Uh, the Outstanding Contribution to Comedy Award goes to... Uh, an absolutely incredible woman who has got an OBE, a CBE, she sold out the Albert Hall more than anybody else on the planet. She lives in the basement and her, she gave birth to Bodicea Overall, also known as uh, Mrs. Overall in Acorn Antiques in 1914. She is Victoria Wood. Victoria Wood! generation to me and so it is just very moving to get it and I did my first TV show in 1979 which was absolutely dreadful um, <laughs> it was Wooden Walters and Granada and uh, we had a terrible studio audience I think they went around Manchester with a bus saying if you don't like fun get on um, <laughs> And our, our warm-up man was Ted Robbins. <laughs> he didn't get that many laughs then. And uh, in desperation, he showed his bottom to the audience as part of his warm-up, which is something you can only do once. And, uh, you know, these were pensioners who'd been through two world wars and depression. And, you know, Ted's bottom wasn't going to make them crack a smile. But... Uh, Anyway, so I just thank you all um, again for this and good luck to Chortle and have a fantastic evening. Thank you. Victoria Wood! Well, that was the 2011 Chortle Comedy Awards. Don't forget, keep checking out the website for more news and information. In the meantime, after show party. Wah